in a trilogy, the second movie is often a bridge, but even a bridge movie can tell a complete story. The Hobbit, the desolation of smog, does not, and therein lies the rub. Cinematic class is about to commence, and the professor is in. Folks, it's a bridge. You need this movie in order to connect the first movie with the third movie. It's similar to the Star Trek thing. You know, everybody loved The Wrath of Khan and The Voyage Home. But you really can't understand those two movies without the search for Spock that's in the middle. It's a bridge movie. However, while people will sit down and say, let's watch The Wrath of Khan or let's watch The Voyage Home, nobody ever sits down and says, let's watch The Search for Spock. It just doesn't happen that way. The second Hobbit movie, unfortunately, is a similar bridge, but it's an unfulfilled bridge movie. Hold my breath. What do you mean? Ah! For a bridge film, this movie is simply too long. No bridge movie ever has to be three hours. The middle section of this film, right after the barrel chase, just simply drags uncomfortably. The second, Hobbit Adventure, despite having a solid cast and crew, is certainly not as grandiose as the first. The grade it earns is a C. Here endeth the lesson. Your world will burn. What are you talking about? Speak! Now time has come again. My master serves the one. Do you understand now, Elfling? 